So you have been uh, quoted as saying that you didn't believe any of the stigma associated with porn. So after being in the business now, do you still hold that position or do you think it really depends on who you're working with or talking to? I, it's not that I don't believe in the stigma. I definitely know there's stigmas out there. That's not true. That's not exactly of what I'm referring to. It's more, I didn't experience the stigma that everybody told me that I was going to experience. And so, and I think, and I do think the stigmas are leaving us. Like I yeah. do think it's getting better and better every day. And, but there, yeah, of course there's still stigmas against, but I personally was, Everybody told me, oh, people are going to like to go down. You'll never be able to, to work anywhere else. You'll, you're going to be called names and, and just called cheap and desperate and all these things. I didn't have any of that from any real, you know, in any real way. I mean, some rogue fans saying something on Twitter or something. But, but they say stuff um, anyways. It doesn't matter what. They say stuff anyways. Yeah, so I, I could not believe all, like when Drive was announced and all that press went out and everything that I didn't get any real negative press. There were the scandalous headlines, but it was all like, she's doing this and very positive. And I do think, I do think it also has to do with, I will not let them shame me for it. And I think a lot of even celebrities that have done sex tapes or everything, there's always this thing of like, oh no, I yeah. pretend like I'm shamed yeah. and like, oh my God, they stole this tape from me and I'm so shamed. I'm getting like money from it, but I'm so shamed by it. But, um, and also I, I think more and more, you know, sex workers coming up and not being ashamed and not letting, not feeding into what this narrative that the outside world wants to give. Well, that's a very, that's a very important part. And let me ask you, so coming from this perspective of being able to explore your sexuality, what has that done for you mentally and psychologically? It's been so freeing and I can find, like I was always walking a line when I was in mainstream about how I should be, what I should, and I wasn't even talking about like porn back then or anything, but even like expressing myself in any way sexually, right? being sexy, it was always a line I had to walk in order to gain approval from others. And it's um, like back in those days too, there was a weird thing about like when women's full time just like when Britney Spears was coming out, it's, there was a weird thing where people wanted to sexualize you in some way, but you also had to be a virgin. Mm. Like it, mm. it was this Madonna whore all in one complex right. that was, was very strange that, um, that I was all you do. You just had to like keep anything sexually you were doing or, or experience quiet and very, you know, contained in that way. But then you know, you had to uh, play it up as well, too. It's it's just a it's a weird thing. But now that I was able to really just break free of that and and discover myself, and and I feel like I'm so much better of an an actor and so much more impassioned about what I'm doing. That I mean, they never would have let me have any roles in Hollywood playing the kind of roles that I am playing now. Like sure, I, sure. aside from the sex, yeah. but I play like really. <laughs> really deep, dark, devious kind of characters and, and very dramatic and very like just roller coaster kind of characters that I just love. But, and that porn really gave that back to me so I can say porn gave me my acting career.